Hey guys, today I'm gonna do another unboxing video, uh, of course, for Geek Fuel. So I have April's box with me, actually in April, so that's pretty exciting. Um, I've actually had this box maybe for about a week sitting on my kitchen table. <coughs> But, um, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm still a little bit sick. I actually had pneumonia. It's been about two weeks. It's almost gone. Still a pretty bad cough. But I think I'm good enough to finally make this video. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and unbox this with you guys. <laughs> yeah, I've been living off halls for like two weeks. It sucks. <laughs> Lots of sleep. So, they are featuring Mario Kart on this Geek Fuel magazine. The banana on the back. That comes out on the 28th, four days. Did you guys get the Switch? It's pretty great. Um, not a whole lot out yet, but of course Mario Kart is one to get. Um, yeah, it's still the same one that's on the Wii U, but it's the deluxe, so it comes with all the extra DLC. And I'm excited to play online with friends on my Switch. Uh, Ooh. <laughs> this looks like a rug, like Zelda. Oh, this is hidden staircase. Ooh. Home office dungeon. Can you feel exclusive? So I have a hidden staircase rug. That's pretty sweet. If I could open it, I don't really want to rip the paper. I'll just slide it off. Duh. <coughs> I might need to back up a little bit. Does this look cool, guys? Well, that's kind of cool. I probably wouldn't have noticed it was a staircase, though, at first, unless it was pointed out. But I see it now. So it's like <coughs> going down this way. And I just dropped my box. Whatever. Put it at the doorway, and my cat is already wanting to go on it. <laughs> Silly kitties. Do you guys like my hair? Like right when I, like two weeks ago when I just got pneumonia, I got my hair done as well, like galaxy. Yeah, I think it's pretty cool. Looks really nice outside in the sun. There's some green and pink in there. It's kind of hard to see in the lighting in this room. <laughs> but yeah, I was really happy with it. Next time I'm going to go, I think, all navy blue. I change my hair a lot. I get bored fast. <laughs> <coughs> but anyway, let's look for the next item in here. I have a South Park shirt. Ah, I love when people come into the store to pre-order this game. I work at EB Games for those that don't know it. And they're like, can I pre-order the new South Park game? I'm like, sorry, which game? <laughs> and then I make them say the fractured butthole. It's, it's great. <laughs> That's actually really cool. I might wear this to work today. I work at five. <laughs> I think I will wear this. What did I say? My cat is gonna love that carpet. <laughs> That's Sylvester. Cool. Um, this shirt actually feels a little bit tight. Um, it's a woman's medium. I'm normally in between small and medium. So uh, I know they recently changed like the type of material like to a better quality. I don't know if maybe I should start getting a bigger size. I think it's still okay, but I'm I'm used to wearing boy clothes, I guess. So maybe I should just buy a men's small. <coughs> All my sweaters are like guy sweaters. They're cooler. There's not enough like gaming stuff for girls. Not clothing wise anyway. <sighs> this is awesome. It only really sucks that this game got delayed until probably next year. That's crap. <coughs> Alright, so there's still a couple more items in here. Of course, there's gonna be a pin. Um, ooh, Ninja Turtles. Who did I get? I got Leonardo. <coughs> so you were able to get all of the Ninja Turtles. Of course, I wish I got Michelangelo, which I'm sure is a lot of your favorites as well. Ooh, the limited one this time was Shredder, which would have been sick. But I'm happy with any of them. So the game I got was Dwarf Run, but, oh here it is, I was going to say, I, I don't have the card, but the card fell off. The art style actually looks kind of cute on the card. <coughs> so this game, let's hope I can read this, says, 
joined the expedition to the ancient underworld temple undertaken by young dwarf Dalian Stone Cruncher. <laughs> Or Delane, sorry. Delane and his friends are about to join the rebellion, meet strange beings, defeat the most powerful of demons, and even travel to space. Space? That's different. Cool. And I have one more thing in here. Oh, cool. I actually have one of these already. Um, they're like little collectible Deadpools. Um, we actually sold like a different wave of these at work. And I got one of them, but then as soon as I got home, it fell on the floor, and like just in a casing, it cracked. I was really upset, but now I will have another one. Ooh, also, you guys know how I collected up. <coughs> I'm getting too excited. Sorry. <laughs> um, <coughs> you know how I used to collect Funko Pops? I actually sold off my collection. I had over 300. Um, I had a quick video of all my figures, like, before I got rid of them. I guess I could post that quickly right here. So that was my Funko collection, and I don't know, it's just the addiction was getting like too, like too real, you know? There's just so many that come out all the time, and I don't have lots of spare money, and I, I already profited maybe $2,500 off selling what I sold. I have about 80 figures left, and that's pretty good, um, considering how many I did have. It's sad because I had some favorites, and... It was just get rid of them all, or I don't know. If I kept the ones I liked, I'd only probably get rid of like five figures because I like them all, and there's always a new series I get excited about. <laughs> so I'm like, no, cold turkey all gone, even my Master Chief, which was like the best one I ever had. But he sold for $200, which is like incredible because he was one of the first ones that ever came out. Like when Future Shop still existed, I found him there before I knew what pops were on the shelf for like 10 bucks. I think he might have even been my first figure that I bought. <coughs> it's kind of sad. But I'm down $2,000 on debt, so that, that's great. So yeah, anyways, I know you guys don't care much about that. I shouldn't continue to you feel. God. <coughs> Ooh, so I got like the X-Men Deadpool. Let's see what rarities he was. Um, <coughs> oh, they have chase characters for these too. God, that was another thing about Funkos that made me mad. Like, the chases that had the limited ones, they're so hard to get. <coughs> to be honest, this Deadpool isn't even on here. It says collect all- oh, is this a chase? <laughs> you know, you're gonna have to get rid of this because it's a Funko. And of course, they have the chase character. Honestly, I want to die. <coughs> so, it shows all the ones you get in the back. There's like the blue and yellow right there, but I have yellow and blue. And do you see that picture anywhere? No. So, I have a chase figure. <coughs> Anyone want dibs? <laughs> Just kidding. Oh, I'll probably keep it. Just to symbolize <coughs> my Funko collection. I'll just add it to my figures up top. So that was a pretty cool box this month. So, of course, there's the card that shows everything you got. You got the enamel pin. Um, this Deadpool collectible mini. Um, the game. <coughs> and this hidden staircase. And then, of course, the fractured but whole t-shirt. <coughs> Very cool. So I'm very satisfied with this month's box. Once again, I thank you guys for watching me all the time. Uh, please like the video and subscribe if you haven't already. And I guess I'll see you guys later. Do some requests if you want, please. Keep watching.